The Citadel contrast paints are finally here, and to show them off, we created this sample board where we swatched all 34 shades on top of these textured circles primed with gray sear, wraithbone, and corax white. When it comes to color, there's no question that these paints are super vivid, saturated, and beautiful. I really love the way they sink into details when they're wet and dry smooth like watercolors. Keep in mind that you can't mix them with water or the pigment will separate, but they work great with the Lamian medium. I know Games Workshop is marketing these as the new way to paint, but the coolest thing I've seen since this set came out is all of the different older techniques people are using along with the new paints. They can make painting miniatures go a lot faster, since one coat can create a base layer and shading. I really like the flesh tones and bright blues, but I would have loved to see at least one or two metallic shades. The only cons I've noticed so far is that they are translucent and therefore not very forgiving, so you have to make a little bit more of an effort not to paint outside the lines. No, contrast painting is not going to replace traditional techniques, but it's been fun to try something new and these are really, really a blast to play with. Here's a quick look at all of the colors, swatched, dried, and sealed. The first ones I'll be adding to my personal collection are the skin tones, since faces and hands tend to really frustrate me. Athermatic blue is definitely my favorite color in the whole set. Speaking of favorite things, let me tell you about my favorite game shop in the universe, Hard Knocks Games, where you can find this whole collection and just about everything else you could ever hope to find in a hobby shop. Check us out at hardknocksgames.com and let us know what you think of the new contrast paints. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.